but as you start to send out emails as well, like the, the, the open rate, like how many people like unsubscribed, like all that stuff is in real time. So you can look at the, the analytics dashboard and track it all, you know, by the second. So it's pretty cool. Okay. But that's, that's as you get numbers in, you know what I mean? So where you want to kind of start is, is really just being, getting familiar with, with everything that came over. So my communications, looking at the list, looking at the sequence. So if you click on that, you'll, you'll see the two lists that are up in here. Um, click on my, click on, yeah, click on that. So click on list. So it's all about that list. Any, any landing page that you're sending somebody to ends up going on a list. So in this case, we got the free book customers um, and then we got scheduled appointments. So those are two different lists. And, and to even get onto a list, you would have had to create a form. So to the left, you got my forms. So my forms are the little box, the name, the email. When you hit a landing page, that landing page and you opt in to anyone's landing page, you're filling out your name, you're filling out your email, that's a form. So, so the form goes onto a squeeze page, for example, um, and that form is just set up, you know, individually, but that person fills out that form. And then that person, that lead ends up on a list. And that's what's in my communications is, is they'll either fill out the calendar form or they'll fill out the free book form. And then they just end up landing on, on those lists. Now okay. the list, click on my communications, the list, not every list needs to be tied to a sequence. So you have your list on one hand and then you have your sequence on the other hand. So the sequence is what's tied to your most important list. And, and, and those, those lists again are coming from a specific squeeze page. So whatever that squeeze page may be in your case, it's the book. So that's the squeeze page. We're sending traffic to the book page as they fill out the form, they put their name and email. They're then on this list. And then if you hover over communications and then click on sequences, that free book customer list will be tied to this sequence. So which, is, again, which is the funnel, basically, right? Which is the, the what? That's the funnel, basically, correct? No, that's the emails. Those are the emails. That's that are the emails. Follow. Okay. Okay. Yeah, those are the emails that are going to follow. So you can put as many emails as you want right there. You could put three that automatically go out. You could put 30 that automatically go out. The one that I sent you, this sequence, it has five. Because in my emails, I'm just showing five basic steps and, I'm, and, and I just simply set up five emails that automatically go out. So after the emails automatically go out, let's say all five of them, all five of them go out. And now, now, now everyone who's on that sequence, they received all five emails. After that, you can always turn the five into 10. You can always turn the 10 emails into 15. And that, that way you don't have to worry about that lead being nurtured. It's all about nurturing the lead. And then that's what, that's what, that, that, that's one thing I, that I do is I'll email my list. That's nurturing your lead. That's making sure that that lead keeps you top of mind. You're going to do it via email where you can, you can set up a sequence and that's the importance of maybe setting up five, maybe setting up 10. So you can just set it and forget it type of deal. Now let's say all, let's say, let's say that sequence, let's say every lead every active lead on that sequence, let's say they reach the end and, and they just, they received all five. If that's the case, then you can always go and, and click on broadcast right there at the top. The broadcast is a one-off email. So let's say those people hit, hit, hit email number five and, and they're done with that sequence. Okay, cool. So now that list is just sitting there. That list isn't receiving any more emails because you ain't got six, seven, eight set up. You only got five. Right. So, right. so, so now, you can come in here and send out a broadcast. Let's just say one day you wake up and you're like, damn, okay, I want to, I, I, I had this random thought. I want to share that with my list. That's a broadcast. That's a one-off email that you can send to anyone on a list. You can send it to anyone on a, it's not really anyone on a sequence. It's really anyone on the list. It's all about the list. The list, you can send a broadcast to the list. Um, the list, you can tie it. So it doesn't matter where they're at in that sequence. So one, one person on the list could be on email number two. The other person could be on email number four. But sending out this broadcast is going to go to everybody on that list. Very good question. Yes. It doesn't okay. matter where they're at in the sequence. And it doesn't matter if they completed it. 
so yeah, so it doesn't matter. You can send out a broadcast whenever. And, and I sent out broadcasts. In fact, I was, I just got done cutting a video. Um, um, and I'm getting ready to send that out as a broadcast to my list that are no longer in sequences. So I have, I have a handful of lists. I have three of them specifically. This is literally what I was working on right now, bro. So you scrubbed your list to get the people that's not on the sequence anymore. No, no. The, the people that are on the sequence, um, it's not that I scrubbed it. It's just a fact that it's just a fact that I know that that sequence already ended. You know, it was okay. five emails, for example, or it was 10 emails, for example. You know, so I already know that that list, that sequence ended. But at the same time, what I also do is I also create another list. So, for example, the book customers, there's five emails in the sequence. I set it up through the automation, which you can, which I'll show you how to do. I set up an, a quote unquote automation, which is what you see right there, automations. I set up an automation at the end of the fifth email. So at the end of the fifth email, there's an automation. And the automation is anyone who reaches the end, unsubscribe them from this sequence and add them to a different list. So mm. now I can come in here and look at a specific list, which I'll show you right now, bro. Like this is stuff that I, that I literally do. I have all those people who, who, who got to the end of the five, of the five email sequence. I have them at the end unsubscribed automatically. It's an automation. So I have it automa automatically unsubscribe them from that sequence and subscribe them to a different list. And the name of that list is leads, who completed the five steps. And now I know steps. who is on that list. Now I can now now I have a list of everyone who completed the five steps. Now I know that that list, those leads, they're just chilling. So now what I do often is I'll come in and I'll send out a broadcast. And that's exactly uh -huh. what I was about to do right now. I just finished a video, like I'll show it to you right now. I'm gonna send out a broadcast. And, and that broadcast is a one-off email that I'm gonna send to a handful of people on, 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 on these different lists and it's just one quick email. So, so as you really start to build it out, automations are important, man. Like you'll, you'll, you'll be able to unsubscribe people. If they reach the end, unsubscribe them, put them on a different list. If they open this okay. email, send them the next email. If they buy my, if they buy my product, unsubscribe them from that list. Like there's a lot of little, little, if this happens, then do that. If this happens, then do that. So, okay. so if that lead reaches this step of email number five, unsubscribe them and put them over there, put them on a different list. Okay. So you're going to want to segment these people. Like you're going to want to segment these, 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 these leads, because especially if you're going for an appointment, like let's say for example, you know, you have a lead in inside of a sequence and let's say there's 10 emails in that sequence. And let's say your whole objective is to get people to schedule an appointment with you. That's your mm -hmm. whole objective, right? Because you got it. Mm -hmm. That's how you got to be thinking. Is, is, let me ask you that. Is that, is that, is that a, a goal of yours is to get people to schedule appointments? It is. Because if I get them on the phone and okay. I, I get them on a Zoom, then I yep. can kind of, I can Perfect. show them the product. Perfect. Perfect. So, so here's, here's an automation for you. An automation would be like, let's say, for example, you have a sequence. They download your ebook. And then boom, for the next 10 days, they're going to receive an email. There's 10 emails in your sequence. Anyone who schedules an appointment, let's say they're on email number six and boom, on email number six, you happen to just say something that struck a chord and they're like, damn, I want to talk to this guy. And then they go and schedule an appointment. So when they schedule an appointment, they end up on a list. So an automation can be whoever subscribes to the appointment list, unsubscribe them from this sequence. Because if they're on okay. email number six and now boom, they go for an appointment. Now I got to take them off. I don't need them getting email number seven, email number eight. Right, email, right. Right. Like right. I'm already talking to them now. So I'm already pitching them on everything. They don't need to know about nothing else no more. They're off that sequence and that's an automation. So and I can put them on another list now. You put them on another list. Oh, this is, oh, this is, this, this is nice right here. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's, that, <laughs> this that's is why, right here. yeah, bro. Like, that's why this is so amazing, dude. Kartra is so amazing, bro. Like, you, you, yeah, it's just, it's just, it's, just, it's all in one. And, and, and it, it, it's amazing. The automations, 
But, but again, just try to jump on the Tuesday and Thursday calls. If you can't make it live, make sure you watch the replay. Because I, I tell people all the time, it's Facebook ads and Kartra. Those are the only two things, two things that you need to be doing as a business owner right now. Facebook ads, right. Kartra. You know, or, or, if you're, or if you're trying to learn a different platform to run ads, YouTube ads. YouTube ads crush it, but that's a whole other learning curve. I always, I always recommend starting with Facebook ads first. Yeah, I'm staying away from YouTube. Well, I'm not, I'm not gonna say I'm staying away from YouTube. That's, that's my 2021 goal. Yeah, yeah, is to yeah. Really yeah. get on YouTube yeah. and crush it. But yeah, right now I'm gonna focus on Facebook, Kartra, and Instagram. That's it, man. That's it. That's all you gotta stick with. Stick with that right there. Um, but, but this is all the back end. This is the back end. This is what you gotta get familiar with. The Tuesday and Thursday calls are, are, are really good to just sit there and, and just listen and just watch what the hell these people are doing. And, 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 and that will help you get used to everything over here. Because um, once you learn this stuff, bro, you'll, you'll, you'll learn like, you'll, you'll know it, you'll know it. Like you'll know it, you'll know it in no time. Like, um, so, so the automations are super powerful. We'll, we'll, we'll get to the automations as, as leads start to come in, you know, but, but it's really, it's really sequences right now. It's, it's, it's list right now. And that's my communications. So, so okay. what you want to do, here's what, here, here's one homework assignment that you really want to focus on is let's okay. click on, click on sequences. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come in here. I would, I would say focus on this first because you should know what that lead needs to know after they download your book. Right. So, so, and, and that's the top of the funnel. So, so running an, running an ad, for example, or maybe just posting your link on social media and getting people to download your book. That is the top of the funnel. It all starts there. So, so that's why I love it when, when someone has some type of free offer, that's what this is. That's what, all mm -hmm. of online marketing consists of a value ladder. There's a ladder. There's, there's steps to your game. There's steps to your higher product, right? It doesn't start with your $2,000 product. It starts with your free product, Correct. right? Correct. Like, like we got to get people in the door first. And so we get them in the door with a free offer. That's the first step of your five-step ladder, for example. And okay. so <clears throat> when, when, when you have that, then let's say, for example, I go to your page, I download your book. What do I need to know after that? And that, and, and that right there, that's the million dollar question. And the answer to that question, what do I need to know after that? The, the answer to that question is answered in your series of emails. Okay. That's the sequence. So you want to be able to, 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 to set up, you know, five emails, six emails, seven emails. You don't want to set up 30. Like you don't need to set up nowhere near that, but maybe a good, a good, a good seven to 10 emails. But again, it's all based on your book. It's all based on your, and it doesn't even necessarily have to be a full blown book. It could just be a freaking seven pages of, of whatever. Like it could yeah, be a, a, a I, I, cheat I can sheet. I could show it to you. Uh, it's pretty, the book is pretty. Uh, is it, is it already done? Is it a PDF? Yeah. It's, it's, let, let's, it's let, let, let's upload that to Kartra real quick. Before you show me, let me, let me, let's go back to Kartra real quick. Let's, uh, okay. let's upload that to Kartra. Okay, hold on. Okay, so just go to my products? No, go to, you're going to go to my, uh, you're going to go to my memberships. So any PDF file is under my membership. And it, right at the top, you'll see okay. files. This is where these are. This is where all your PDF files go. Which you know, right now we'll just start with one, which is your book. So click on upload, and then upload that PDF. So keep it at no category. In you know what? Let, let let let's start. Let's let let's get in the in, in a good habit. Let's start some good habits here. We're gonna categorize everything, especially in my pages. In my pages, your as you start to build out different pages, we're gonna put everything in a category. With your files, we'll put everything in a category as well. So let's click on manage my categories and let's just create a category. And, and it could be my book category or whatever, or the title of the book. My ebook. My e business. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, my ebook. Okay. Or just put ebook. Put ebook. Okay. The short business the credit ebook. Credit oh, ebook. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Whatever. Okay. Biz ebook, credit ebook. Okay. Perfect. Okay. okay, cool. So that's your category. So, so 
if you ever if you ever you know create any more files put them in that one if 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 it pertains to this you know this side of your business so biz credit ebook perfect look for that pdf and then just just upload it i would leave okay. that right there okay so check mark and then boom there goes your there goes your um there goes your um your ebook so now hit next and then it's going to upload and then you'll get the link and so this is this is your link so copy that little freaking chain looking that link thing right there copy that cl click on that link right there next to the pencil yeah there you go click on that and then and then copy that right there that is your link so let's copy that let's open up a new tab and and paste it in and make sure that's that your pdf opens up so just open up a new tab at the top yeah paste it in right there perfect Bam, bam. So now that link would go in the first email that is sent out. Oh, okay. okay. So, so, so let's go to, um, and so let's, let, let, so let's get out of here. Go back to Kartra. Let's go to my pages real quick. Yeah. So, so X out of that, go to my pages and let's go to, um, Let's go to thank you, the top one right there, free book, thank you. So in that, that's the thank you page. So as you, and again, you could change the colors, you could change all that, bro. Like this is just- Yeah, I was, I was actually looking at this too. I, I opened this up earlier. Yeah. Your, your thank so, you page. So this, this video again, man, when they go to your, your landing page, your squeeze page, and they enter their name and email and they download that ebook, they're taken to the thank you page. On that thank you page, as I mentioned before, number one, you're thanking them. Number two, you're introducing yourself as the author of the book, right? You're introducing yourself, little background of you, who the hell is Greg, you know? That's number right. two. And then number three, you're telling them to check their email. Say, hey, man, I just emailed you, your, your, you know, the link to your PDF. You'll be able to click on it and download it right away. And then also you're telling them number three is make sure you check out for my emails that I got coming up, coming out over the next few days, because I'm going to be kind of just really sharing some more value and bringing some great content. So make sure you check your emails. That's number three. So I'm telling them to check it for the PDF that I just sent you, but make sure you check it in the future as well. Cause I got a lot of stuff coming your way. And then number four, I'm telling them to click the button below if they want to schedule the call now, you know, so, okay. but so, but in that thank you video, I'm saying, check your email. Because that link, what you have copied right now, that's what you're going to put in the first email. So in fact, okay. let's do that right now. Go to my communications and all the emails are going to be sent out through the sequence. You can also send out the email through my form, but it's not going to be sent out there. We're going to send it out through, through, through the sequence. That's going to be the very first email that goes out. So let's click on the pencil. Let's go into the email builder and so, so what I was getting ready to say a few minutes ago, go, yeah, go ahead and edit, but you know what, go ahead and change the name. Let, 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 let's, let's start working on that. Like, let's change that name. Um, biz credit ebook or whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, this, this is just for me to see, right? That's just for you to see. Yeah. But that okay. bottom part is what they see. That's the public description. That's what they see if they ever go to unsubscribe. So you want, to, to put something there. Thank you for downloading or thank you for reading, you know, your biz credit ebook or whatever the hell you, thank okay. you for reading or thank you for downloading. It's just a description. It's just a little reminder of what list they're on. Right. You know I can always I mean? change this, right? You can always change that. You can always change anything of this, bro. Like, yeah, you could change everything anytime. Okay. Thank you for reading the business credit ebook. Perfect. Perfect. So 2020, I don't know if you want that. The five steps. I don't know if you want that. Well, let's just clean yeah. it up while we're here. Yeah, biz credit, five steps, because it's five emails, right? Well, it, it, right now it's five emails, but based on your ebook, you know, is it five steps? It, I mean, oh, no, no. Yeah, okay. so get rid of that. Get rid of that. Yeah, because okay. it don't have to be five emails. It could be 15 emails if you, if you want. It could be three emails if you want. But, um, but there's five there for now. So, so that first one, as we go in, click on edit. As we go in, um, that first email is going to be the first email that's that's sent out immediately that's the one that's going to have the link to download the book so i'll show you where to put that link 
right over here in the first email. Where I did put that email, actually the first email is in, it, I, I, did, I actually did put it in the welcome form. It's actually in my forms. So click on my form. Sometimes I'll put out the, the email that goes out immediately. Sometimes I'll put it in my form, but 99% of the time, I put it, yeah, click on edit. I put it in the sequence. So just like we were looking at that sequence where that first email goes out a day later, what I'll normally do is I'll have that first email go out immediately. And that first email is this one. So I ended up putting on this, on this book one, I actually ended up putting it, putting the first email. In the forms. I, I ended up, I ended up shooting it out through here. Yeah. Through my forms. Okay. So let's go through here and you'll see that first email. So save and next. I don't know why it's not letting me click. Okay. So the single opt-in, that's what you want. Single opt-in. And then the success page is the thank you page. So that's where it's headed. So as people fill out the form, they go to the success page, which is your thank you page. So that's fine right there. And then we'll just rename, you know, the thank you page to get rid of the 2020, but hit save and next. So the next one is welcome. This is the welcome message. So it's going out from the correct email. Perfect. And then we hit change on welcome message. And this is that first email. Um, again, nine out of 10 times, I won't have it sent out here. Okay. But in this case I did. So, Click here to download. So you'll, you'll want to reword that, but, but that's as basic as you want to keep it, you know, just reword it a little bit to fit your business, but I wouldn't change much. So I put the image of my photo. I linked that as well. I linked the button and I linked the image. So if you hover over the button, don't click the button, but just hover over it, mm. hit the pink one, the pink pencil. Now your link goes right there. So right here. yeah, yeah. So remember, as you're in the email right here, don't click the image because it's going to take you out to the page and, and, and then you got to come back. It, it's going to throw everything off. So never. This click. is crazy, bro. <laughs> yeah. I ain't playing, man. <laughs> oh, this is, playing. This, this is playing. some game, man. Like, I feel like I feel like I'm be legit right now. G, you're about to be legit, bro. I know, but I feel like I'm getting over on you, man, because I'm like, like a lot of people don't show people how to do these things, man. Uh, man, I'm glad. I'm glad we found each other, man. Yeah, so man. if you, if you hover like, like, okay, so what I also do, I'll either, if I need that person to click and there's only a few things that I'm having them click for ever. One thing, one thing you're going to ever click for is to download my PDF. Another, another thing that you'll end up clicking for is to watch my video. So right there in the, in the text, click here at the top, you can write whatever the hell you want right there. So if I wanted to watch have them watch a video, click here to watch my newest video. Right? right, I can I can write that in the top left, right there where it says copy. You got the text right there. That's the text that's on the button. Okay, and if I okay. want to change the color of the button, then there's the background color. I can change the color of the button. But um, so let's let's click that pencil right to the pink one. Click the pink one. Right here. No, down the image over the image. Let's get rid of that. Um, let's get rid of that um, um, link. Click it. The pencil. Now let's put your link up in there. That's my link right there. So go ahead and go ahead and take that one out at the top left, top left inside. Yeah, right there. P take that one out and p paste yours. So that's where yours goes right there. And then boom, you'll just, you know, put your image or whatever. Um, and then now, so let's do this Let's And then, and also, so, so again, Oh, so they'll be able to click the click to download the button and click the image. Hell yeah. Yep. Okay. So, so, I'll either link a button, I'll either link an image, or I'll link a word. So right there, my name, it's linked. So if you hover over the over my name, you see how it's blue right there? And any any word that I go ahead and highlight that, any word that I hyperlink, yeah, copy the whole thing. If I do it again, make sure it's just from the O and, and left. So click, you got a little bit over. So make sure you just click just the word. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. So if I hyperlink it, it's that little link at the bottom. You say that link, but go ahead and, and exit out. Or go ahead and, and delete it. Delete it and then write your name. 
Okay, type in your name right there. Okay, so anytime I hyperlink a word, I'll bold it, which is what it, it is right now. I'll bold it, go ahead and highlight it. And then I'll change the color to blue. Because, but make sure you don't, you got so much overage on that. Yeah, make sure it's just the word. So there you go right there. So I'll change the color to blue because normally anything that's hyperlinked, it's blue. So not that one, the one to the left, the A to the left. That's the background. Don't do that one. Don't do that one. Do the, yeah, that one right there. That's, that's for the text. The other one's for the background. So I'll, I'll, I'll highlight it and I'll put it blue. And then what I'll also do is go ahead and highlight it again. So now I'll link it. So if I want to link it, there's that link at the bottom, that link, that chain link, right, right above, click here to download, right there, bam. Click that, and then boom, put your link right there. Why not? Might as oh, well. Like, wow. like go ahead and link it right there and just hit OK. So oh, now that wow. word is hyperlinked. So I'm going to hyperlink a word. I'm going I'm gonna, I'm gonna to link a button, or I'm going to link an image. So go ahead and click out of it. Click away from it. Get rid of the highlight. Just click. Yeah, click out of it. Click. Click right there. Click right there. Okay, cool. Now scroll to the very bottom and just send yourself a test email. So say, say, send, send test email. Bam. So click on that. Now let's test our buttons. Click on your name. Click on the button. Click on the image and see where it takes you. Oh, wow. Bam. Click on the button. Click on the image. Wow. Oh, that's serious. Yep. And then click on the image. Okay, so you didn't hyperlink the image the right, or you didn't link the image the right way, but but we yeah. can just, we can, we can get and back these to that. Are, and these are all your icons right here. Yeah, but you just switch them out. You just switch them out. Yes. Just hover over it and just switch them out. But then also, go back to Kartra. If you really want to try to get gangster with it, like there's, also other templates that's a basic template i try to keep my emails basic image button and the social yeah, i just want to do basic right now until yeah I yeah get, yeah uh, yeah until i get my flow down cut but but what you we can also do is click on design templates watch scroll up to the top scroll up a little higher right do now I save we're, everything for now no no we'll get there right now we're in advanced you see how that button is 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 at the advanced side the the turquoise the blue button it's oh, advanced wow. You see that? Right. We're in the advanced feature. But if you hovered, if you clicked it to the left, don't do it. But if you clicked it to the left, it'd be basic. So basic is just text, just text. If you want to add anything, it's advanced. So if you want to add a button, if you want to add an image, if you want to add a template, if you want to add your social media icons, all that stuff would be advanced. And so now we're in advanced. Click on um, um, design templates, right at the bottom, design templates. So now you can click on, you can either build out your own, watch, for example, click on headline, click on headline, and then just click, click anyone, click and drag it over and put it at the top. Hold it, click, hold it down, drag it over and drop it. So you can literally build out your own, go back to headlines, hit the left arrow, there you go. Hit there you go. And then let's go down to go down to text. So click on text. Click on any of those um, blocks. Click, drag, and drop it right below. Drop your block right there. Hmm. And then and then and then hit the back button. Hit the back text. And then boom, get something else. Scroll down. Go to go to images. Scroll down. Scroll down. Scroll down. Go to, go, to, go to headlines, go to buttons, go to images, click, drag it over. So you could build out your own. And here's what I do on this. It starts with the first email. So as I build out this first email, if I'm going to build it out myself, Kartra has a ton of templates that you can use. But if I'm going to build something out myself, watch, go to, go to, go to footer, add a footer real quick. Go to, go to um, scroll down, scroll through all of them. Look at all of them. You got testimonials. You got a countdown. I could put a countdown clock up in there. Um, footers, click on footers. There's all these different examples of footers that I can use. Click on footers. Oh, wow. So, so I can click on that and I can drag that over. So if you don't like my social media icons, you can grab one of those, drag it to the bottom and, and then link it all up. So what I normally oh, wow. do on the first email, this is email number one. 
what I normally do is I'll deck out my template. I'll link everything, the social media icons, I'll get my template. And then I'll scroll to the bottom, just like you sent to te a test email. What I do at the bottom is I save as template. So now I use that same template for every email thereafter. So it looks the same and they're familiar with it. Oh yeah. So obviously I'll change out the text. Obviously I'll link a different video link, right here. but it's, it, but it's really, I'm really saving it for maybe, maybe the image slot, maybe the button slot, but I'm really, I really, no, me personally, I, I really save the email template so I don't have to keep changing out those social media icons. For me, it's really those social media icons that I care about. It's, it, so it's that bottom footer. So if I didn't save it as a template, I'd have to create that bottom footer every damn email and I ain't going to do that. Right? right. So I just right. save it as a template, but I link everything first and then I save as a template and then, and then hit, hit the left. Actually, you know what? Score to the very bottom. Score to the very, very bottom of the email. Yeah, very, very bottom. Save as template. Let's just save it for the heck of it real quick so you know. So, so now as it saves as a template, now once it saves X out of that little window, so X out of that, and then, and then go to the left, go back up to um, the, des the design templates, and then you click on my templates, and it'll be right there. So now for the next email, I can just click the whole damn thing, email number two, and just drag it over. Oh, that's, that's saving a whole lot of time. Yeah, and then just work out of that. And then my email number two, I might not need the button. Email number two, I might not need the image. I just exit out. But again, I really keep it so I don't have to keep changing them damn icons at the bottom. This is crazy. You know, so, so, so now let's get, let's get rid of that header. Let's get rid of that text, right? Let, let, let X out of that, X out of that one. And then even, even go to my templates, go back to my templates, the heart, and let's just get rid of that template. Cause that's not the one we're going to save. So let's X out of that one. So, so once you go ahead and delete, once you really work on this first template, again, change out those icons at the bottom. So scroll to the very bottom and just hover over the, the icon, the Facebook, the Twitter, whatever, just hover. No, 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 not that one. Don't exit. No. Unless you want to get rid of that one and add your own, you could for sure do that too. So, so, um, and yeah, I can add another footer. Yeah, I can add another footer. Yeah, you can add another footer. So go to footer and just, and just choose a footer. And then, and then, yeah. So, and then, and then you can, I'm pretty sure you could change the color as well. So, um, there's that. So now you can just hover. Oh yeah. Click on that, that pink. Yeah. Click on that one. Let's see if we could change the color. Uh -huh. Yeah, perfect. So there's, there's the color. Perfect. So you could change the color. And then also whatever your one color is, whatever your one color is, that's what you want to save. So, so you'll end up finding that color and then you can, you can, um, you can, you can click on my palettes and then you can save it. Okay. So let's just test this one. So go ahead and hit the, hit the three dots next to my palettes. Click on that. It create palette. And then, and then, and then let's hit the plus sign or let's enter the name. Like, let's just name it something random real quick. Okay. Great. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Hit save. And then, and then, and then what you're going to do, I think you're going to hit the plus sign. Yeah. Hit that plus sign right there. No, the plus sign, the circle. All right. Perfect. And, and so hit the color, hit that gray circle. Yeah, click on that. Like that. Okay, boom, and then you're good. So there goes your gray. So so now from this day forward, you got that gray. So so as you create pages, as you create other emails. Now, if you save this as a template, of course that's going to be saved. So you you don't got to mess with it no more. But from this point on, any page that you're looking to change the color, you got that same gray saved. So I would just wow. use that same color for everything, right? <clears throat> Keep your branding consistent with the color. And I can even change the color of this, this page right here, the email background, correct? Yeah, yeah. You could change the background as well. But here, here's another thing that I want you to look at. Click on um, edit background right there, the arrow, the left arrow. Let's go back. No, to the left, to the left, right there. Yeah, go back. What you can also do is click on um, um, scroll up right there, scroll up um, above headers, scroll up, and then look at full templates. 
Kartra even already has a ton already done. Oh wow! So you can scroll through this and and and, and just and just grab grab a template and then just x out whatever part you don't want like you can work around oh, wow. their this template you know so so the image slots there the button is there you could change the color like yeah man so the template depend on how you know fancy you want to get but but these ones are all freaking awesome templates you know but again whatever it is save We'll jack it all out, the icons at the bottom, and then save that one and have one master copy for everyone. So, okay. so, so this is where you should start. You should start. This is my form. So this is the first email. Um, um, let's get out of this real quick. So you'll come back into this and, and reword it. But this is where you should start. You should start by, by, by um, editing these emails. Okay. Yeah, the form, that's email number one. So let's hit save. Let's get out of here real quick. But you know what? Let me show you one last thing. Hit the full templates. Hit that arrow. Go back. One thing that I use a lot, as you can see right there, there's already two of them. First name in the subject line. First name in the email. I always use their first name, which is right there. Click dynamic variables. So I'll put that dynamic variable, copy the first name, and you could put that anywhere. Anywhere in the email. If you copy oh, the first yeah. name in parentheses, that's why the email that you know I sent to you, for example, when you schedule an appointment, the booking confirmed that email you got when you scheduled, it says your name. The email right. that you got an hour before our call today, it says your name, right? Because I'm using right. a dynamic variable. That just, you know, it reads whatever the lead name is. So I'll, I'll copy that. Go ahead and copy it. Copy the first name right there, the dynamic variables. Yeah, just copy the whole thing, parentheses, copy that whole damn thing. And you could right. paste it. Yeah, you could paste it, copy it. And you could paste it anywhere inside. Are you on a PC? Yeah, I'm on a PC. Yeah, so so when you copy it and then you bring it over to the email, it's control V. You can't right, right, right click right. and paste. It has to be, watch, click right there. Yeah, just click. I cannot thank you oh. enough. Bam. So so okay. I could call them out, which is what I do. I use their first name all throughout the damn email like as if I'm like talking that. to my homie. Yeah, people like that. You know what I mean? So So yeah, so that's that. So hit save. This first email that goes out immediately when they download the book, that's in my form. Okay. That's what you should work on. So hit save and next. So the automation, I assign the tag. A tag is simply a way to categorize leads. That's all. You'll learn more about tags later. Tags are not the, not the most important right, right now. But when that person opts in and they download your book, they're automatically subscribed to that list. So that's good. We'll just reword the list, you know, take out the 2020, reword it, but that's fine. That's, it'll be, it'll, it's the same list. So scroll down to the bottom and then let's just hit save and next. Now, as you're going through, as you're going through, if you hit change, click on change, you won't be able to proceed until you hit save. So you notice how the save and next button is grayed out at the bottom you won't be able to proceed until you hit that green button. So whenever you see a green button, bro, it's going to say save. It's going to say edit. Anytime you see the damn green button, you got to click it or else you're not going to move forward. It's the same in the calendar as you're setting up the calendar. It's the same in my forms as you're setting up these forms. Um, it's even the same in, in, the, in my communications as you're setting up your sequences. If you see a green button, you have to smash it. Okay, so, so hit that save button and then you can save in next. That's super important because it's going to bug the shit out of you. You're going to be like, dude, how come I can't proceed? Right. Because you got to save it. So save and next. Now you can proceed, save and next, and boom, that's my form. So again, that form is what is on the squeeze page. So, so, so what you should work with. So now let's click on my communications. Let's click on my communications and then let's, let's hover over communications and let's click on sequences. Now let's look into email number, email number two and on. So the email that's going to go out tomorrow, that's this right here. These are the automated emails. So what I would do if I were you is I would start here. I would start here. I would kind of just visualize what needs to be said, what I need to communicate to that lead after they download the book. What am I looking, at them, looking for them to do? Am I looking for them to, to, to schedule a call with me? Uh, am I looking to get them to look at a product? 
Am I trying to direct them to my website where they can purchase right. a product, whatever, like what is the whole process? You know, what needs to be said from, from, for the next day on, because after they download the book, they're going to get that welcome email in the form. They're going to get that right away. But tomorrow they're going to get this get the one right first, here. Right. That's in the sequence. Email in the sequence. One. So let's, okay. so, and it all starts with a starting rule. So hover over the starting rules and let's click on edit up, up. Yeah. Right there. Starting rules, hover over that, that red, blue, or green, just hover over that and click on edit. There we go. Edit. So this right here is the starting rule. You got the list on one hand and you got the sequence on the other. The sequence needs to know who's about to get these emails. That's the starting right. rule. So in the starting rule, you can go ahead and customer buys product. Go ahead and X that one out. X that out right there. Any price point, X that one out. We don't need that one. We just want to go off of, and also we don't even need the list. So, so click on list, the number one right there. Click on that. And then let's just kind of, let's just get rid of the list. I want to keep it super basic for you right now. So click on that and then go to an X out. Yeah, go to an X that out. That lead subscribes to list. Go to an X that out. And, and so now the start and rule, click on opt-in form. The start and rule is all based on the form. form so, okay. so when the lead fills out that form, they receive these emails to follow. That's the start and rule. That's how the system knows which list to send these sequences to. Right. You're telling them right here. So hit save. Lead fills out the form. One day later, shoot them. Step one of five. That's what we're telling the system right there in the start and rule. Okay? okay. So, so, and you can set those days up. However, I have it set up to go out every, every day for the next five days. You can, you can have one, you can have it set up where it goes out every other day for the next, you know, if you have 10 emails, what one can go out every other day, you can set that up however you want. And, and it's right here. So click the three dots on, on that first one. So right here, this is where the magic happens. We click on edit. And then we open up the, the little settings or the dashboard of that email. So there's many things to look at real quick um, within, the, within the settings. So this is it right here. So it starts with the top, the delay. You can change that one day to whatever you want. The mm -hmm. day and time, leave that as default. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Kartra will send it out. If you're, if, you're, if you're telling the system the delay, which is one day later, it's going to be based on the time that they opted in one day ago. Right. So, so, so leave the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, any time of the day. So if that person downloads your book at 11 PM tomorrow at 11 PM is when they're going to get that next email. And that's okay. fine. That's fine. I'd leave it as is the communication. Here's step one of five. All that is what I normally do is all normally the communication. That's, that's just a title internally. That's just like a, like a, like a, like a, like a, yeah, like a title that you see internally. But what I try to do is I try to list the communication. Here's step one of five. I'll try to match that with the subject line, which is the email content. So that email content below, Hey, Hey, Greg, here's step one of five. That's the subject line. So what I always normally try to do is match it. So just the communication with the email content subject line, I'll try to just keep it the same. Here's step one of five. And then, okay. and then that's the gateway. The gateway is the email that is coming from, which is fine. And then the recipients, anyone reaching this step. So that's fine. Leave it, leave it, leave it as is. And then go ahead and click on the pencil next to the email content. That's where you're going to be at. You're going to be up in the email content. So just like the previous email, it's the same thing. So now, now we're looking at email number two that's scheduled to go out the following day. Oh, it's the same thing. Okay. So, so same, same, same layout, same, setup, just, same layout, same yeah, everything. Same. Okay. That's why if you saved the template, all you gotta uh -huh. do is just click on design templates, find your favorite template and, and drag it over. Oh so, yeah, this is, I can, I can knock this out. Yeah. So now this is where I, this is where I recommend you start, start, start on these emails. Well, first I'm going to start on the, the, my form, the first email that goes out, um, that's inside my form. Start with that one first. Start with that and one. Then, yep. Start and with then that come one. in here and knock out. So I got six emails I need to put together, basically. Yes, man. Yes, I'd start gotcha. right there. I'd start right there, and 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 lay everything out. And then and then again, here. But here's how I have it set up. So so look at this email. 
Hope you're well and crushing it today. In chapter four of the eBiz credit ebook, so so what I would do is I would probably leave it leave it similar, man, because I got this is high converting already. You don't want right. to change too too much, but definitely add your add your two cents. Put your spin to it, right? Put your personality. You know what I mean? But but you don't have to change it too too much. But just follow the diagram, follow the blueprint, right? And so here's what I'm doing right here, and that's why I sent you all the other pages which we're about to look at real quick. What I'm doing right here is I'm writing out some text, but I'm also getting them to watch a video. So, so what I have linked, so look at the whole email, scroll down, watch the video here, scroll down the image. So, so that image, if they click it, go ahead and don't click the image, but hover over the image, never click the image because it's gonna take you out and then you gotta come back in, you don't wanna do that. Hit the pink pencil. So that image, I have it linked to that page. So go ahead and copy that URL at the top. Copy that whole thing. Go ahead and copy it. Open it up in a, in a new tab. So what I also sent over were all the pages. So when we go back and we look at your pages, you're going to have step one of five. This is that first page. So, so what I'm doing in the email, and after a, few, after a few minutes, the bottom of the page opens up. And the bottom of the page is a link to schedule a call. You won't see it right now. You'll see it like in four minutes. So I want oh, that person's okay. attention just on the video. I want them watching the video for the next few minutes. And if they don't even watch, it's a 20 minute video. So, so if they don't even watch three minutes of it, they don't even see what pops up at the bottom. But if they watch at least a few minutes, then they're going to see the drop down. And that's good. And that's, that's good. good. Yeah. I don't want to just show it to you right away. I want you to watch the damn video for a few minutes. And your right. video don't got to be 20 minutes. You know what I mean? Like I just tend to talk a lot, but you could be, that could be a two minute video right there, whatever the hell you're trying to say. You know what I mean? But, but at the end of the video, at the end of your video, there's the call to action. Hey guys. And by the way, there's a button below. If you like to schedule a call, it'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. So in these videos, these emails, there's five emails in each one. I have them going to a video. That's just me. I so just you're doing like step in all five emails is step one, step two, step yep. three, step four, yep. step five. I'm breaking down every, every part of that book. But I'm breaking it down okay. visually and I'm breaking it down in, in video. Now, you oh, don't got to okay. do that, but so that's just, my, that's just okay, taking so it to the next level. Be, right. So mine would be different. Like I would basically break down the steps in my ebook. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. You're going you're gonna to break down About what- six steps. Right. Yeah, you're gonna break down those six steps. Yeah, you're gonna break down those six steps, and 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 you're gonna do it in video form. I would, I would do it in video form. Okay. And 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 that video goes on this page. Now that video, you can you can shoot that video on your cell phone, like you could for sure, or you could shoot it on 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 your on your on your computer webcam or whatever the hell you're rocking with. But whatever it is, make sure it's on your computer. So if you're if you're shooting on your cell phone. You got to transfer that file to your computer because what you can do with that video is you don't necessarily have to put it on YouTube. I put it on YouTube. That's a YouTube link because I'm actually building a YouTube channel. So I, you know, if, if they go to my YouTube channel, that's fine. Watch hover over the video, hover over it. You'll see the YouTube link that, that YouTube, if, if oh, you yeah. click on that link, it'll take you not the one at the bottom, but the one, yeah, you could subscribe right there. But even, even the one at the top, like if you hover over the video, that step one link customization oh, yeah, right here. Like if yeah. you click that, you end up going to my channel and that's fine because I'm building a channel, but right. if you ain't building right. no channel, then that video can, it could be on YouTube for sure, but that video can also be on Kartra and okay. that's my videos. So when you go into Kartra, you're looking at the dashboard, the left, my videos. So you can, you can upload all them videos right there. If you want, you can upload them all to Kartra. And, and then now put them on a page or you can upload them all to uh, YouTube and, and they can just be on YouTube. You know, they could just be on YouTube. But, 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 but the whole point of everything, the whole point is the fact that in my videos, I'm linking you, or in my emails, I'm linking you to a video. And I'm linking you not straight to, not straight to my YouTube channel. I'm linking you to a page. That's what's so important. Is I'm linking you. So go back to step one. Go back to that other page. 
I think somebody popped in. On yeah, what's up, Dan? Give me a second. Give me a second, boss. That's my buddy Dan. That's my buddy Gregory. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> so, so go back to step one, the tab at the top. Step one? Yeah, the page. Open up that tab that you have open at the very, very top. Very, very top. No, 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 no. Don't X out. Don't X out. Oh, oh open up the video? tab. You got that tab open. Step one. That tab oh, to the oh, left, oh, to the left, to the left. Step one. Hold on, let me get back up. There we go. So I'm taking you from the email to this page. And the reason why I do it that way, and I don't just link you to my YouTube channel, is because here I keep your attention. Uh -huh. It's one page, so I'm able to keep your attention. Plus now, scroll down now. I think the bottom of the page opened up now. Not yet. Actually, it hasn't opened up yet. Okay. So, but I keep your attention a little longer than if I would have sent you straight to YouTube. If I sent you straight to YouTube again, like I told you before, before you know it, you're watching freaking oh, yeah. Drink Champs. You know oh, what yeah. I mean? And that's, and that's one of my favorite podcasts too. Oh, me too. <laughs> I'm watching that every, every day. But that's what I don't want. So I don't want to, I don't want to link you from my email. I don't want you to click to watch the video and all of a sudden you're on YouTube. I need you to click to come to the page so I can keep your attention a little longer. It's one video. That's why the bottom of the page doesn't open up yet. Because I don't want you looking at the, at the links below. I want you to focus on that video for a few more minutes. Right? So that's right. number one. I keep your attention a little longer. Number two, my Facebook pixel is on this page. So now I'm creating a custom audience through Facebook ad manager. And now I get to run, I get to create audiences and run ads to everyone who's watching these videos. Because now Facebook's oh. tracking all that. That's number two. I'm able to put my Facebook pic, so I couldn't do that if I sent you straight to YouTube, right? And then number three, then I'm able to drop the bottom of the page, open up the bottom of the page, and there's the button to schedule a call, or there's the button to buy my product, or there's the button to try Kartra, which is what I do a lot, a lot of. So right below, there'll be a button that opens up, or the page will open up after a few minutes. Um, I think I set it for seven minutes, actually. Um, but that bottom of the page will open up. And so that's how I just do it in all my emails. So if you go back to Kartra, let's go back to Kartra real quick. And then let's, let's, um, let's, let's edit. So again, anytime you see a green button, no, 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 no. You got to hit the green button. Don't X out, bro, or else you wouldn't save anything. You'll work on the whole damn email and then you'll X out and you're screwed. Always click the green button. So right here, hit edit. edit. Hit edit. So, so that would be the next email. Now let's, Get out of here real quick. So you're going to want to come back in here and, and, and reword all of those emails. Okay. So that, 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 that should be your homework right now is doing those emails. Yeah. But what so I want to knock out a total of six emails. Yeah. 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 But what I want to show you real quick. So as you edited that saved it, now we're back right here at the settings. Now scroll to the top and close this out. So go ahead and close. And then you can hit done and exit, which is the green button. Okay, so now let's go back real quick because here's what I do. Here's, here's what I do. As I'm in Kartra building out different things, I'll have open my communications, which is what's open right now. And then I'll hover over, don't click, don't click, don't click. I'll hover over my pages, right click and open in new tab. Because as I'm in the sequence builder, I'm going to need different pages. I knock out email number one, boom, I go to email number two. That's a different page. So, so rather than having to come completely out, which is what you just did right now, you came completely out of the email builder. Now we're back to the dashboard. I don't want to have to keep doing that every email. So I'll have open my pages. So hover over my pages, right click, open in new tab. So click, uh -huh. right click, yeah, right click, open link in new tab. Now, these are the two tabs that I normally work out of. Actually, one more. Now, hover over my calendars. Don't click. Hover over my calendars. Right click. Open link in new tab. Because as I'm in the, my communications, as I'm in the sequence, as I'm in the builder, I'm writing out these emails. I need pages for these different emails. I also need my calendar link for these different emails. Because I'm going to put that link. Maybe I'm going to put that link in, 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 in the email my calendar link, maybe I might put that link in the page, but I'll normally have open those three tabs as I'm working. Okay. So now I could just bounce back and forth from each tab. Um, 
as I'm building out my emails, as I'm writing out my emails. So go to, go to open up the other tab, my pages. You got it right there. Click on that one. Yeah. That one right there. Click on that one. That's my pages. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. So right here, that's what I sent you. So I sent you the pages for steps one of five, step two of five, step three of five, step four of five, step five of five. Those are my emails. Those are the pages in each email. Does that make sense? Hold on. Starting. Scroll down. So starting the, right here. Yeah, starting right there. One of five, two of five, three of five, four of five, five of okay. five. Those are yeah, the each video, page. The videos. Gotcha. Gotcha. That's each page. So so as you're in each email, you're building out email number one. That's why you'll want to have this tab open because you'll come back and, and all you're going to do is hit the three dots. Click those three dots right there. Get code or link. And that could be the link right there. Get code or link. And then, and then, and then click on get the page link. There's your link. So again, that's why it's important to have up this second tab. So I can navigate back to my pages because I'm gonna need I'm gonna need to grab step two of five, step three of five, step four of five. I'm gonna need to grab that right, link. I see what you're saying. That versus... link is what goes in the email. Yeah, no, I makes, see what you're makes saying. Sense? Okay, makes a whole lot of sense. So, so don't worry about the videos right now, but but at least you have the pages there. All you're gonna do is just fill out that video whenever you do the videos. But at least try to maybe write out the emails. You know, work on that first. Write out those emails because that's that's kind of the most important. The pages. It, it, we can knock those pages out, change the color, you know, put your image, all that stuff is simple. But what is the time consuming part is the email part is writing okay. out those emails. Okay. Oh, and, and I, did, thing, I did man. get, yeah, I did get that. Uh, I, I brought the domain, uh, get credit for your business.com. Perfect. 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 We'll link that later. So we'll, okay. let, let's set up another call. We'll link that later. That, that part's easy. You, did you get it through GoDaddy? Okay. Yeah, I did. Perfect. Perfect. So that's cool. So we'll link that later. Um, and, I, right and, now, and I used the trick too. I went to the incognito and got it for a dollar and everything like that. So that worked out good. Perfect. So knock out the emails first and then, and then schedule a call, another call like sometime this week. And then, and then we'll knock out these pages and we'll knock out that domain. Okay. Sounds good. I appreciate that, David. Heck yeah, G. Anything else? Nah, that's it, man. You, yeah, work great. on those emails, man. Knock it out. Let's chat like either tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday. Let's chat sometime this week. Because once we knock out this part, man, it's just it's Facebook ads will be the next thing. Okay, cool. Appreciate it, David. Cool. All right, man. Hit me up, bro. All right. All right. Talk to you soon. Okay, bye.